Hello, welcome back. This is Sherful. So this lecture um, is going to be uh, about Jenkins. So in our last lecture, we have seen how to generate extend report, and then you know execute your uh, your whole project, and you will see how to create and it's created a uh, uh, very professional uh, you know extend report. So now it's time to integrate your project with the Jenkin. So for, so now first of all we have to see what is Jenkin. So Jenkin is an open source continuous integration tool. It's a basically written in Java but it works with other languages too. So any project with other languages also works with, with the Jenkin too. So principle the principal functionality of Jenkin is to keep a track of virtual control system so now if you don't know what is version version control system you know uh, please watch my other tutorials about git and github like git and github is one of the very famous open source version version control system so it means like when you write your code in a local machine you know you, at the end of the day when your code is done you know so you push your code to store somewhere central repository repository so that's called the version version control system it's a it's a web based server where it store all of your code right so and uh, git and github is uh, uh, one of the very famous version version control system so anyways jenkin you know it's uh, it's a very famous tools used for all uh, uh, by the developer the uh, automation engineer everyone one of the basic core job to keep track your version control system so whenever any uh, changes made on your code and if somebody pushed the code to the uh, any branch in your ver version control system Jenkin automatically you know uh, can understand can get a notif notification that's okay new code added to the that's uh, uh, your master branch in your version control system and it can build it can do some testing do a lot of other stuffs so in in a uh, in a test a test uh, automation engineer you know one of our big job uh, uh, for using Jenkins that you know we can create different different job you know based on our different project you know and then you can build uh, we can uh, we can create a build we can build our job and and run the script it means run the testing script you know through the Jenkins tools without your Eclipse all those things so whoever have the uh, you know access to the Jenkins account they can go and they can run those uh, those script like testing script they can build a script and, and execute it so it's a very help, helpful you know it's a tools uh, that's uh, uh, give you a lot of benefits to run uh, and build and run your script on demand anytime on a schedule also you know you can um, set up a uh, you know such a way that if there is a new code added to the your master branch in your version control system automatically it will trigger the build and it will run some some sort of like smoke test or any other test or a sanity test you know uh, and then it will generate a report and it's a notify send the report to your upper management or the person you want so it's it, it has a tremendous you know it's a benefit so that's why especially the people who work in azal methodologies uh, you know do the automation so you know especially based on the uh, selenium they all use jenkins so here is one of the you know uh, question is why we should use jenkins jenkins is a sort of leading open source continuous integration server built with the java it is used to build and test software project continuously making it easier to integrate changes to the project it provides lots of plugins like 985 plugins to support building and testing virtually any project so it has a lots of plugins so you know in our automation framework like we use a lot of plugins like testing maven others plugins so whatever the plugins we use in our automation framework it's also available in jenkins so that it can talk you know all for plugin based on our plugin uh, for our framework and it can exactly you know uh, do the build and, and run our script as we do in our local machine so 
let's uh, how see how we can uh, this tutorial is going to be all about will integrate or connect our uh, project from our local machine with the Jenkins like uh, the configuration Jenkins and then we'll see how we can connect okay and then and uh, I will make another separate video where we'll show how we can uh, you know connect your Jenkins uh, your project from the github from the source version version control system uh, with the uh, Jenkins okay and execute it so first we'll see you know how we can uh, download the Jenkins install it and uh, do some basic configuration so you can go to the uh, you know our Google search just down type you know Jenkins download or go to Jenkins.io this website okay let's go so we'll say Jenkins download and then you can go this is the site Gen download Jenkins okay this is the site go here and after that if you go load down okay here is a we'll look for the dot war file this is generic Java packet package dot war file okay click on this file you know it will download some sort of you will see Jenkins dot war file okay download this one base this is the one you know we're going to use in our Windows machine or or you can you know it's it, it's supposed to work on the Mac too okay so anyway this is the file you are going to download generic Java you know uh, package or dot war file so after you download this you know you you can put anywhere you like but I put um, you know in my all the folders like selenium folder I do have uh, let's see I can show uh, in my user and then selenium work I have a you know here I put all my like uh, gecko driver chrome driver, everything you can see there is a uh, Jenkins works works okay this is a just one single file dot war file okay download up there so I mean put it up there so wherever you feel it's uh, you know you can remember it or all other files you have okay so now after that we have to create so after that so let's minimize this let me go back to the notes here and then we have to uh, open our command prompt and have to be the same directory uh, path as we have for w war file dot war file right so here selenium work let's go there so either you can you know be a uh, direct come to here or you can open your command prompt then you go to the CD users and then go to your you know uh, selenium or, or whatever the folder you have you know you have to be at the bottom line you have to be the uh, directory path the place you you uh, you, you you store your Jenkins dot war file so you, or you can just go there and you type over here CMD you can see right I'm in the directory but the same directory I have this Jenkins right and Jenkins.war file right and after that what do you have to do you have to type something Java dash jar then Jenkins dot war and then dash HTTP port 8080 okay so you have to type Java dash jar space then Jenkins Jenkins dot war and then space dash HTTP and then port sorry P should be uppercase P O R T port and then eight zero eight zero so it will run through our local port in our machine so in our machine we have a lot of port like 8080 so we'll try to use 8080 okay the port will be uh, it will be contract will connect with your Jenkins server so if you hit enter okay you will see that's a lot of things it will download will initialize the Jenkins uh, you can say start initializing you can say started initializing 
Jenkins home directory so you will see Jenkins home directory or the path where your Jenkins allocated listed all the plugins okay okay so y it may take a little bit a little bit longer time for you for the first time when you do because I already did so the installation or configuration is already done in my machine so it's maybe it's a little bit faster but in your, your case it, it maybe it takes a little bit longer time just but it, just a uh, you know a uh, few seconds extra how you can confirm that see it, it's been you know installed uh, successfully you can see you have to wait to see this message Jenkins is fully up and running this message if you see this message it means you know it's installed successfully okay so here if you after you see this one and this message you have to go a little bit up uh, it's not showing here it will show one uh, one administration password I can show let me show you how and don't close just remember you know as long as you work with the Jenkins don't close this command prompt because you know through this uh, you, uh, you, you allocated at the port 8080 will connect with the Jenkins server so if you close it you know your Jenkins server will be in you know, a lock I mean it's not going to work I mean it's in it's, uh, it's not going to uh, display the uh, the URL the Jenkins server is not going to work so keep it open or you can minimize it's fine so what I'm saying okay it's not showing the password because I already use the password it's a one-time password to open to create an account so I can show you how it's going to look like if you go here so this is like a command prompt you will see you know in your command prompt like after it's finished you know Jenkins up and running if you go a little bit up you will see there is a star marks like this and then it means it's a generate you can see Jen Jenkins it this this type of uh, you know statement you will find Jenkins initial setup is required an admin user has been created and a password generated you will see there is a you can see this is the highlight okay this is so this will be your password so copy this password and put in a notepad because you know this password is generated one time to create your account it's not gonna be if any reason you know it's you have to like uh, uh, you have to reopen your account or it's not or you know you the account didn't create it but you will see this uh, password is gone and it's really uh, uh, a little bit pain to retrieve your password is it's, it's possible but it's not straightforward so I would say just you know keep this uh, password in a notepad so that if you need again to you know create your account some reason is not created the account was not created you can still use it okay so after you you go there and then uh, you will then you will uh, uh, and then open your browser okay and then in your browser type like this this is the URL HTTP clone for slash localhost clone 8080 okay 8080 if I do this you will see local localhost 8080 it will sh for myself it will show me uh, the my username and uh, you know password but in your case for the first time if you go there it will show you something like this your window would be like this unlock Jenkins and then you will see there is a field uh, it's called admins administrator password so here enter the password okay this is the password you copied from the, from your command prompt enter this password here and then click on continue okay and then it will uh, it will it will you know uh, come a window and then you can create you can sorry you can create 
uh, uh, the new window come up and it will, it will ask you to create you know create your account like you, you create your username password that email address okay some others very basic information then click on create your account and after you create your account it will come with two different setup one is like uh, you know the very basic or or by default setup another one is customized you select the by default one okay select the by default and then click on next next and let it go and it will set up everything and after that click on so after you log into your account after your account has been installed everything is it's created and then after you log in you will see let me log into my account I will show you the the you know the home page how it looks so after you log in you know this will be your home account will be home page will be like this there will be nothing like this maven you know test job something like this. it's not going to be like this okay because I have already a job creator so that's why it's showing but in your case will be this pay this will be uh, empty but on the left navigation bar will be like this okay so first what do you have to do you have to add since our project based on maven so we have to add the maven with a plugin okay so uh, we'll go uh, manage Jenkins if you go manage Jenkins and then if you go here manage plugins or right, manage plugins and here under the available tab you will type under the available tab you will type maven in a search maven then hit enter okay and then in an available tab in maven after you type maven and hit enter it's not it will show lots of stuffs lots to, lots of plugin related with maven it's all since I already installed that's why it's not showing I can show you what's the what's the number of the plugin you can see like this uh, install here you can see uh, maven okay okay it this is the list of all my plugin I okay install it so if you, when you search maven uh, under the available tab and then you will you'll see something like this you know lots of plugin you need to add like maven artifact list provider you can maven dependency for sure maven info plugin and then maven invoker plugin maven meta add data plugin maven release uh, you know the plugin maven repository schedule cleanup okay uh, pretty much those are the maven info plugin maven maven okay github okay pretty much those are the okay here is a few you will find you know unleash maven okay those are the things you are going to uh, uh, you know install it you will install it though those are the things and also so after you know you select all of them then click on install it will install it also you need to also uh, install your plugin test ng so type again same thing over here test test ng then search you can see there is a test ng okay test engine under the available you'll find test engine result plugin okay result plugin we're going to add since uh, we need a uh, we use in our project test engine results so we can we can add the test engine result plugin in our uh, test so you know use uh, you know plug uh, the same time select this one and install it and after you install you can see there is an option you can uh, restart uh, in a log you can log out and restart it and then you know just uh, you know restart it 
and after you come back you log in back your project so after you log in back I mean when the download is complete and restart and then you log in back uh, so come back to you go back to uh, here and then let's create a new item I mean you're going to create your job for your project so click on you know here give a name say maven example example job test so I'm just creating a you know maven example test job or maybe an example job okay so I just created I'm giving a name like uh, you know so my project was maybe an example so that I give a name maybe an example job and then select the maven project click on OK OK click on OK Oh, a job already exists in the name maybe an oh sorry I think I already created a job based on this okay let's go there maybe an example oh. let's remove it it's it didn't update I think okay sorry let's create again new say given name Maven test Maven project project job Maven project test whatever you give it Maven project test and then select Maven project click on OK OK here first is like description you can put some you know description about your project or about your job and say maven whatever the example example project whatever you can you know uh, put some description and here you know before you select any option you have to be very careful because this is totally it's a uh, DevOps tools but as for our test automation you know we all we have to create different job for different project and then we can you know build the project and you can execute the uh, script that's all we want you know as per our demand and as, as per our schedule okay that's all we can do so here um, few things here you can see source code management okay now right now it's by default none if you use uh, git okay if we have a you know source code uh, it's a git github so we can click select this one and we can pass the github URL we'll see in another video but this video uh, this tutorial where we're going to you know connect our project through from our local machine so there's nothing over here here build trigger you can see uh, build environment we'll see okay here here we're going to for the pre uh, pre steps pre steps um, pre steps uh, in our pre steps okay here you can see the build okay build uh, under the pre steps okay okay in yes in its pre steps under the build we're going to under the build like uh, for the root palm here is like pom.xml file we'll go to our project go to our project and then where is our pom.xml file get the directory path of our pom.xml file like this is the one for myself so from your machine you will get the pom.xml file root directory and paste it here under the root pom okay and here goals and option will say for goals and option we're going to type clean clean install 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 okay so clean install it means every time it will run the pom xml file and before it's, it's uh, you know rerun it will clean uh, it will clean the story and it will reinstall it okay 
so here is a clean install and uh, anything else over here run only if build success no we'll, we'll just keep it as it is run regardless of build result okay and then post will okay post will option okay if you click on post will option here you can see there is a op, you know option it's called uh, we can you can see um, here publish test result test ng result you if you don't install the test ng result plugin you know as I said at the beginning this option will not show so when you you know add the plugin all the plugins for Maven please add test ng result to then you will see you will see this will show if it doesn't then go back to the you know configuration and uh, add the plugin plugin test ng result and you know it will show so select this one and here it will show you tell you okay uh, it's it's like double star this is the format and test ng result dot xml it means double star it means it will find the directory path for this file test ng result xml you can see if you go to our you know it's uh, our project you can see under the test output here you will see there is a test ng result test ng dash result xml file this is the file you know create all the results so it will find the maven here so it will find for the double star it means it will find the directory wherever you know in our machines wherever is this the direct uh, for this direct uh, file is located it will find the directory and it will find the this exactly the XML uh, you know file what, what will generate the test injury report okay so just keep it this one as it is and then yeah here okay let's save it save and apply okay it's let's go back to dashboard maven project test where is the maven project test okay where is the is there a maven project test I created yeah I think, yeah maven project test right okay and this is my old one maven test job really yeah, 10 hours ago yeah I didn't run this one okay maven project test right just one more settings you have to do um, if you go to okay Jenkin if you go manage uh, yeah manage Jenkin here global tools configuration global tool configuration go there and here nothing for the git okay here for the maven you know you can click so we're just using maven not docker so click on maven installation here you can you can select you know it's your maven uh you know whatever the maven version here like you know your apache maven 3. Point, this is my version i'm using 3.6.0 okay or you can put over here just the URL of your the MBN underscore home path right so I hope you remember so when you uh, definitely uh, when you create a Maven project so here is the example uh, and we have to create an environment variable for Maven right so so whatever your path is your Maven so example uh, we're going to advance I'm going to show you if you go advance 
setting system and environment variable at the beginning you know so when you install the maven configure the maven so we have to create a, a uh, environment variable for maven like maven underscore home or mbn underscore home so this is the directory path of your maven files right your maven wherever your maven is there so you can copy this whole directory you can copy this one you can see my version is 3.60 and then you can you can paste it over here the whole directory path or just you can you know put the apache maven dash your version okay and then if you want you can select this install automatically you can select from here your version so make sure your version is right whatever the version you install okay in your system and then here same thing you can do for your JDK you can see for your when you install your Java you know so you can you can you know for the JDK uh, underscore home you can copy your path of your JDK right in your environment system variable or you know this what, you, what is your Java JDK file for example I have my Java is here program files here you can see there's a Java Java and then this is my JDK right so this is the path of my JDK JDK 1.80 so this is the, my path of JDK so you can copy exactly the same path you can paste it over here and you know you can leave it in empty JDK it will automatically come or just the last part this part is your JDK name okay put this one too and then apply and save okay so this is the global configuration settings you have to do you have to pass your JDK and MBN or uh, Maven a uh, root directory path also okay now go back to our dashboard right okay so pretty much you can now let's go to the the uh, you know the job we created this one and here this is the job maven project okay maven project test okay here you can see there's a build now let's click on build now let's see what happened so you can see the console click on there here we can see the console output It'll, you can see it like okay it's building workspace this is the your Jenkins files okay okay it's building it should trigger uh, you know our, our test script so it means it should run all the uh, you know script then it can do the test start a test okay it looks good okay here we go you can see this is it's started the script is started you see so automation is going on so we run we build a script from Jenkin so we didn't touch our Eclipse we didn't run the pom.xml first so it's automatically it's exactly did the same thing it's uh, invoked the pom.xml file and since it's a pom.xml file is the heart of your Maven project it's automatically triggered the XT, uh, testing XML file and it's a run as per our testing XML file design so all the three you know test cases it's running you can see it. here we go looks pretty cool so this is the magic of your Jenkin so build success Okay, you can see test engine report processing is start, so it's create also your test engine results. So you can say final is finished, it's success. 
okay so that's pretty good so we can go back to our project and then okay we can see here um, go back to dashboard and then select the project again here it should okay test result okay you can see there's a test result no failure no failure okay let's see the test result here okay maybe an, okay maybe an example this is the test result you can see you can see the test results comes over here here too okay click on there and then here is so here is all the three test cases you can see login test navigation bar test you know valid title test all the three test cases is here okay pretty good you can see all the tests it's this is a test result too it's just all the test cases and it's you can see the duration uh, it's a fail zero skip uh, pass it's pass all of them like navigation bar you can see there's a two test method so it, it's both are pass right and it, here you can see every test cases test classes how many methods we have here is a two this one is a valid title is one and logging test is one everything is is a pass you can see total okay it shows all of them so everything it shows in details okay so that's the your test uh, you know the test result okay so pretty much that's all about this uh, you know your so you can see this uh, pom okay it may be an example so this is also you can see view let's see the view okay this shows your our pom.xml file okay all the pom.xml file how is the design okay and then go back here okay and also it will show you the list of your build like you know I run the build 4 minutes 30 seconds ago and then this is the list of you know my first build build was success last build was success okay and a stable build how long ago I run it all the list it shows okay this is so it has a lots of features and uh, now if you go to I can show you just scheduling part right where you can schedule uh, I believe it's it's on let me see. Okay. this is my project you have to be in your project and then configure and then here you can you can build periodically you can see build build trigger build trigger build select the build periodically and here you are scheduling okay so this is uh, the uh, place where you are gonna you know type your uh, your schedule you know format uh, to type your schedule to set up your schedule you have to follow some format the format it's like I can show you So, in it is a five part. Okay, for for typing your your schedule, it is a five part. One first part, it's like M. And then second part is H. Third part is D. And fourth part is again M. And th and the last part is D again. So this is the you know your format your schedule should be should follow this five format so it means the first is minutes like a minute in one hour so your result should be between 0 to 59 your hours hours in a in a one day it means it should be 0 to 23 your day month a day in a month which is 1 to 31 should be your result should be uh, you know uh, it's between 1 to 31 and here's a month month in a year it's a 1 to 12 your day day week the day of week it's a 0 to 7 right where 0 and 7 are Sunday right so and uh, and also there is a few other uh, parameter they use 
So it's h is one of the parameter. You can see the h is one parameter, zero is another parameter, and asterisk sign is another parameter. Asterisk sign it means every it's usually used asterisk sign usually used in in d m and this d. So it means day, week, month, and day. In this three format, usually they use most of the time very commonly asterisk. It means every day every month every year and then we use a zero zero it means zero we usually use in month uh, minute and hour okay since it's you know uh, minute and hour it's you started with zero to 59 and zero to 23 so minute and hour usually they use for most of the time many uh, zero is usually use most of the time m and h so your if you use zero it means zero for the minute, zeroth minute. If we use zero for the hour, it's a zeroth hour, which is started uh, at 12, uh, you know, 12 uh, a.m. Uh, 12 a.m. at the night. So it follows, you know, you know, 24 hours international uh, hours process, like it's a zero to 23rd. So if it's a zeroth, it means it's a 12 a.m. If so, here is some example. If you say zero it means zero minute seven is seven a.m. so seven a.m. zero minute and if you put extra for rest of them it means every day every month every day week it means every day it will your script will run seven a.m. zero minute right if you put your month mi minute and hour both are zero and rest of them in the store it means the job will spike on zero minute twelve a.m. Zeroth minute, zeroth hour means at the midnight, right? And every day, every month. So every day it will run 12 a.m. If you put like 30 is for the minute and 2 is for the hour, it's so 2 uh, you know 2 a.m. and 30. So 2 2 2 30 a.m. it will run every day, every month, every year. Here is a few more. Here is a few more. We use another parameter like h. H means it's it's use any or between usually h this parameter use for minute and an hour for this two to explain for any uh, or between timetable so example if you use h then h uh, uh, here is if you use like h for the minutes and another h with three to four it means this h for the minute it means any and this h for the hour it means between if you were between you have to type your between number by this bracket you know so it means and rest of them like every day every uh, every uh, month every day week it will run bit any time it's minutes this h means since any so any time between 3 to 4 a.m. okay here you can use this between for the minutes too. So if you say three, this is for the hour. So three a.m. anytime, three a.m. between you know three thirty to three forty-five minutes. So this is this here is a, this time this uh, h thirty to forty-five is the minute. So anytime between thirty to forty-five minutes of three a.m. and it will run every day, every month, every day week right similarly you can say 80 it means you know it's 8 a.m. in the morning here you can say here you can say if you want to schedule your build every five minutes here you can every five minutes so your 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 month day and uh, your day month and day week will be every here is and then your hour would be also every so this is another star for hour and then your minute would be since you're saying every minute so minutes is like you know every this is this is start every and minutes divide by five this is a you know this is the way you're gonna write your parameter so you know pretty much that's that's all about this if you want to know more how you here is a about the scheduling uh, how you write the parameter for a schedule this is a link I will put in description below so that you know it has a more details information right if you go 
let me go there I can show you uh, here okay Jenkins uh, schedule job for a specific time you can you know see in details there is it's, it's a good article okay so you can use this uh, this one for to know more in details okay so here now if I want to set up a schedule example I want to say 2 30 okay so 2 30 a.m. I want to run so here instead of this you have to put make sure you have a space between every parameter right build periodically and then you're here and then it's save it you can set up an email notification too if you click on email notification send you can you know add the email send email for every unstable okay send email for every failed module so you can put your email right say twenty fourteen at gmail.com okay so you can add your email it will send an email when you're uh, for every unstable or failed module for failed script right apply it save it okay so pretty much that's all about the Jenkins so we have seen you know how you uh, uh, install the Jenkins how you configure the Jenkins and then you know uh, you you add the plugins like Maven test ng result plugin and then you know you do some global settings to pass your uh, um, a, a Maven repository where is a Maven and your JDK repository and then you know you have seen the schedule how we can uh, pass the parameter to do a schedule schedule a build and we have run a build and we'll see how we can you know uh, also add your pom.xml your project xml file uh, with your jenkin and finally we did a build and we saw the report it was trigger pom xml file and it's run successfully okay so all those things about the jenkin so moving forward all we have to don't forget you know to keep open your this command prompt as long as you are using jenkin others if you close it you know your jenkin uh, site is not going to work so keep open this one as long as you work in Jenkins. Okay. So moving forward, every time you log before you log in, open your command prompt in your uh, you know uh, Jenkins dot war file directory from there, and then type this command always. Type this command always. Uh, Jenkins. This 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 is the Java. Java dash jar. Jenkins uh, dot war then dash HTTP port equals to 8080 and after that wait until you see the masses well until um, you know Java uh, Jenkins is full, fully up and running you know this message Jenkins is fully up and running and then go to localhost clone 8080 and log in your account and then you will be in the same page your your account page home page and then you you know trigger your build whatever you want you can do okay so that's all about the Jenkins I hope you understand and uh, in our next tutorial we'll see how we can push our code to git repository and also how we can connect your uh, source code from the git repository with the Jenkins and you trigger a build from the Jenkins thank you so much stay tuned until and you have a good one